Hi and welcome Virgo, Rose Burnett here from Mind, Body, Soul Bounce. This is your monthly tarot reading for October 2018. It is a general reading, so always use your own intuition and inner guidance in terms of deciphering the messages from the tarot and the oracle. Take what resonates, leave what does not. If you want a personal reading with me that's more attuned to your own energy and circumstances, the questions you'd most like answered, I'll pop the link on this video and below. I am running a coupon code this month. You can get $10 off any of my 30 minute readings. So they cover everything from love and romance to is this my soulmate question. Uh, particularly if you've got a few options, you're not quite sure which one to choose. Uh, well, lucky you. Uh, also covers life, uh, past life purpose, finances and career or your general energy. So uh, the coupon code is going to pop up here in a second. Yeah. So all you need to do is grab that. It is case sensitive. Take it across to the booking form. Enter it when prompted and you'll get that $10 off. I'll also put the link and information below for you. So I also run a monthly competition on my website. If you opt into my blog, you go into the monthly draw to win a 30 minute personal reading with me. And I'll pop that information down below as well. All right, I'm gonna be doing something different this month, Virgo. So I'm gonna switch things up. I'm gonna be pulling three cards on love and romance, three cards in terms of guidance for you on life path, life purpose, some clarifiers on the most important guidance that comes out from the uh, angel answers deck as well as your general energies and a crowning energy from the Lightwork Oracle about your divine gifts and talents or a special message that uh, is gonna come through from the divine for you. All right, let's get started. So first up, we're gonna pull you some guidance from the Romance Angel deck in terms of love and romance. Okay, that flew out. Well, no wonder. For those of you singles out there, hello. New love's coming, it's coming. A new person has stirred up your romantic feelings. Oh, they're on the way, got to say. That's kind of exciting. All right, let's see what else you need to know, Virgo. All mm, wow. And it's saying this could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner that you seek. So for some of you that have just recently met someone, hello. Um, yeah, how cool. And for uh, couples that are, uh, you know, been together for a while, well, hello, confirmation, you are with the one. You should know that in your heart space. All right, let's pull you one more. Yeah, and there's lots of chemistry. There is a magnetic attraction here. Well, hello, that's what you want, isn't it? <laughs> Absolutely. All right, before we pull any clarifiers, let's... Uh, have a look at life path, life purpose for you. What is it that Virgo needs to know? Hmm, too funny. I've got to say too funny because that is what we're doing right now. It's saying you discern answers for yourself and for others with the Oracle cards. So um, obviously you and I are having a good chat right now in terms of guidance, but it can mean that if you've got a desire to do the Oracle, um, it, is, it is supported. It is a path that's supported for you. All right, what else do you need to know, Virgo? Mm, I love this, absolutely love it. Uh, you've got the writing card. So you heal, inspire, motivate, and teach others with your uh, writing skills. Um, this is all about a, a message that you have, whether it's, um, you know, it could be blogging, it could be, it could be being an author, it could be um, doing inspirational quotes, programs, whatever it is for you. Wow you also entertain so some of you could be quite funny yeah Virgo's know for a bit of humor yeah mind you most of Virgo's I know are very passionate passionate and fiery yeah and you've also pulled the yoga card this is all about balancing your chakras and uh, connecting more into your mind body spirit mostly body leave the mind behind just connect your body and your spirit mm -hmm. Um, it's saying your life would be enhanced by doing yoga. And if you go, oh God, I hate yoga. Um, try Zen yoga, which is a very gentle yoga. And it's a yin type of yoga rather than a yang, which is a lot of action and stretching. You know? um, you've got to leave your mind behind when you do Zen yoga. Um, it's very relaxing. It does connect you quite deeply into um, body and spirit. All right, let's put you some clarifiers on 
the uh, I'm going to pull one on. This could be the one. Let's ask: Is this your soulmate coming in? And ideally, let's see if we can get a timeline. So either of those questions. And I have to say, this deck's quite random. I'm still trying to manage it, and sometimes it's just like trying to tune into the energy of it. Oh, hello! That one flew out. Your cards are flying out. Mm, gorgeous. And it's this could be the one. It's saying meditation brings the answers. So it's about asking your angels about tapping into your own heart space and asking yourself let's pull one more is there anything else we need to know about this new love oh beautiful big happy changes coming your way in terms of love and romance Virgo gorgeous um, okay so in terms of the writing and the Oracle cards let's have a look and see if we've got a timeline see if it's supported uh, should you wait? Should you do it now? Let's see what comes up. Oh, wow. Just flew out, got to say. It says, within the next few weeks, get started. Be thinking of starting. Gorgeous. Let me bring it closer. Uh-huh. Don't hold yourself back, Virgo. You might want to do some planning first. About how are you going to bring it together? Awesome. All right, let's have a look at your general energies with the Goddess Guidance deck. And uh, let's see what comes out for you. Oh, wow. Under your new love. I'm just trying to get hold of the energy because it's so beautiful. My energy, I'm saying, because it's so beautiful. I'm going to show it to you. Let me pull this up. Can you see that? Mother Mary, expect a miracle with your love coming in. Um, so if you've been having a tough time, Virgo, just know the universe has been listening to your prayers, your affirmations, what you've been trying to manifest. Uh, they're going to be answered. Absolutely. You've got to match your vibration, though. You've got to absolutely match your vibration. What do we mean by that? Well, if you keep saying and you're listening to me and you're going in your head um, and in your heart space going, not going to happen to me. Well, hello. You just blocked your flow. Oh, you've got to be open to it. You've got to be manifesting it. You've got to know in your heart space what it is you want to draw to you. And then expect it to come to you, Mother Mary. Hello, expect a miracle. How beautiful. All right. Oh. Okay, these flew out. So you've also pulled uh, Ishel Medicine Woman. You are a channel for divine healing power. So some of you do have some divine gifts and talents related to your spirituality. Because right with that, that flew out together with it, is also Nematona Sacred Space. Um, which is about creating a sacred space in your home if you haven't already. I do it with candles, crystals, incense. But I also do a lot of stuff outside in terms of connecting with Gaia, Mother Earth, in terms of my divinity. Lights me up joyfully. Um, often when you get a lot of spirituality cards coming out, it means connecting more into your divinity. It's going, to, it's going to enhance your life right across the board, particularly with love and romance, because this is all sitting under love and romance. Also with your, what you're passionate about in terms of your life path, life purpose. Mm, yeah. There's a clear message here to go outside, Cordelia. It's sitting right with sacred space. I'm going to say the, the reason to go outside is one, to balance and ground your emotions. Uh, let go of anything that's, um, there's a message coming through, let go of anything toxic in your life. I'm going to say it's people or it's um, emotions you need to let go of, negativity. But it's deeply connected to your sacred space, your divinity. So talk to your angels out there. Absolutely. All right, let's pull you some more guidance with the crystal reading deck. Let's see what you need to know, Virgo. Mm, there is going to be a renewal of peace in your world. Solar sign, gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. I just feel like some of you have been going through a really hard time in love. Well, it's going to be start going to improve massively. I've got to say. In terms of writing, the message you've got for those of you that want to engage in a career in writing, it's saying to have courage. Have courage. Sitting right under within the next few weeks, by the way. Mm. You also called write a crow site acceptance. I'm going to say this is acceptance of your divine gifts and talents. This is acceptance of self and not worrying about what other people think about you, what other people think about your choices in life path, life purpose. 
Um, it's time to not even give a damn, actually. Just go after what it is you want. Free yourself up, Virgo. All right, let's put you some specific guidance with the Energy Oracle. Let's see what you need to know, Virgo. Mm, yeah, wow. I'm going to pull these up because it's such an important message. So, you've got your new love. You've got your expect a miracle. And you've just pulled your seventh chakra, your crown chakra. Um, it's all about manifesting that new love into your life, putting out to the universe what it is you want because your crown chakra is your connection to the divine. Um, absolutely. Archangel Uriel. And you've got quite a lot here in terms of your spirituality. It's going to be key for you in October. Virgo is get in touch with your own divinity. Mm. Oh, wow. Ridiculous. Under Ishel Medicine Woman, you've also pulled the magician uh, in the mirror. You're a magical person. You can create whatever it is you want to create in your life. Some of you have got some amazing divine gifts and talents in this world. Got to say, that's you and you know it. I'm going to suggest to you that you join our Ascended Masters Lightworker Community Group, which is all for uh, lightworkers or people thinking about becoming lightworkers. I'll pop the link on here. Go and check it out. There's a video in the inspirational playlist and also in the playlist for um, Virgo um, on how to become a lightworker. I share my own journey plus the purpose and mission of that lightworker group. So if that's you, go and check it out. I so re recommend it. I've got to say your spirituality is off the charts, Virgo. In October. Mm. You've also got the message to take action. The message about taking actions towards the uh, the new love that you've got a lot of chemistry with. Um, take the steps you're guided to take in terms of your own response to that chemistry. Um, but also take action in your life path, life purpose, go after what it is you want. Wow. For some of you, the temple path is your life path, life purpose. It's sitting under oracle cards as well as in between that is peace. It's going to give you peace of mind. It's going to give you inner peace and joy and harmony. Absolutely. Or if it's not oracle cards, it's something to do with your divine gifts and talents. Okay, for men out there, this is sitting under... <laughs> sitting under the courage card so for our guide virgos this is you it's saying go after what it is that you want in in love and do it within the next few weeks yeah um it can also mean girls that this is who you're connecting to he's waiting for you um you're drawing him to you um and if you're uh, if you if you're into same sex well that's cool too it's just you know you interpret it how you want there's no there's no judgment here. Your love's coming in either way. All right, let's pull you one more. Mm, yeah. The last message is to let go of attachment. Um, attachment to the past, anything holding you back. Attachment to other people's opinions, I'm going to say. Don't let them bother you. Put a... Uh, Put a barrier around yourself, protect yourself, um, and step into your empowerment and your strength. Sitting right under the acceptance card. Okay, let's pull you. A crowning energy from the Lightwork Oracle. I'm going to be super intrigued to see what comes out for you, Virgo, considering how much spirituality is right across your reading. What is it Virgo needs to know? Highest guidance, please. Yeah. Some of you are going through an ascension. We've got ascension, the rainbow bridge, which can also mean that you're going to get the spiritual awakening to your divine gifts and talents, your past lives. Um, if you don't know, part of the things that I do is I'm an advanced Reiki practitioner, but I do a lot of um, chakra clearing for um, clients, um, people just like you. If you want to let go of emotions and things that are holding you back, that are stuck in your chakras. But I also read the Akashic Records, which is um, one of my divine gifts and talents, is the ability to read 
the soulite of every person on this planet. I was doing it back in Egypt. It's one of my past lives. Um, I'm deeply connected into the star Sirius as well as goddess Isis and uh, Gaia, Mother Earth and Zeus as well as the divine collective consciousness. But um, I do have a lot of uh, success with uh, looking and reading other people's uh, Akashic records, their soul light origin. If your chakras are stuck, we probably need to clear those out first because sometimes I can only get an impression of the past lives and sometimes they come through. Yeah, so, but uh, the reason that you've got all this spirituality happening is that some of you are going to get an awakening to your divine gifts and talents, Virgos. All right, let's have a look at the Ascension Rainbow Bridge and it says, you have been growing spiritually and your consciousness is expanding. It is transforming your experience of the material world from something you must control or conquer into a living expression of the radiant divine. As your appreciation and love for the material world becomes more unconditional, so too does the light that can flow into your aura, chakras and physical body. And as you psychically expand, you may need more rest, healing and meditation than usual to integrate this increasing degree of light and the consciousness that awakens within you. The rainbow bridge is a term for the channel of light that moves through your chakra system and along your spine, allowing spirit to enter your body and stimulate the development of your soul. This bridge comes to life as your consciousness is raised. It draws in higher energies that nourish and awaken your body, mind and soul through your chakra system. And as your chakras become more stimulated, the increasing influx of spiritual light, a clearing process begins, which supports the consequent expansion of your consciousness. This clearing is like a spiritual detoxification. It clears blocks from your mind, emotional body and physical body, as well as from your soul, such as unresolved past life issues. And as these blocks are broken down and processed, emotional trauma stored in your organs and nervous system can be released and your energy field becomes more spacious. This creates room for increased spiritual light and as a result you feel clearer about who you are and why you are here and others see more clearly when in your field you become more powerful. Your energy field continues to clear itself attracting more spiritual light becoming more visible beyond physical limits. Others can be supported by your light even if they cannot see your physical body. You are growing as a light worker and helping humanity in increasing ways whilst enjoying your own spiritual growth. You're opening to new consciousness now. With this comes new insight, awareness and awakening or deepening of your soul talents. That's exactly what I said, isn't it? such as healing, clairvoyance, channeling or telepathy. Your channels are being cleared and activated. Rest, open up and allow. Be patient and trust in your process. If emotional content arises and you are concerned you might be falling back into old habits, do not be afraid. Find ways to express what you're feeling through writing, therapy, dance, music, art, sound and conscious movement. Hello, yoga. <laughs> or walking in nature. Explore your personal expression to allow for spiritual expansion. This oracle brings an additional message from spirit. Hold on, ascension can be a wild ride. Anything is possible. The past is not an indicator. The future is not set. There is a moment to cultivate your deepest feelings of spiritual love and peace and simply allow the genius of life to flow through you in whatever way it chooses. During ascension, your life can change quite dramatically. The rainbow bridge empowers us to rise from one reality into another. Even if your outer world doesn't change radically internally, you'll feel as if you're living a different life and eventually the physical world changes will follow. Enjoy crossing the rainbow bridge into new consciousness, dear one. You have everything you need. You are ready for this. It is meant to be. Wow. And there's an invocation here, Virgo, to finish off your reading. And it says, I call upon the unconditionally loving guidance that can assist me with mercy, grace, protection and support through my ascension process. 
I accept this opportunity to grow spiritually and shift from one reality to a higher vibrational reality. I accept the openings of my chakra into a more loving consciousness. I accept the changes happening in me and in my life due to spiritual growth. May I be held in tenderness and compassion as I release lower vibrational patterning and embody my authentic divinity. May the beings of unconditional love who assist the anchoring of a loving rainbow bridge of light upon this planet for the greatest good of all beings be empowered and invited to do so now through my own free will. So be it. Wow. I've got to say, so in tune with your reading, the rest of your reading. If you like this Virgo, please like, share, comment and subscribe to my YouTube channel. You'll uh, get notified of new videos coming out. Plus it helps me enormously to keep my channel going. And uh, I do read the comments, I do respond. Sometimes it might take me a little while, but I do love them, I do. Um, please don't be negative on my channel. Just take ownership of your vibration. Take responsibility for it. And in my most loving and kind way, I'm going to suggest that you go and balance and ground yourself outside in nature. And when you're feeling better, come back. You're most welcome. Don't forget to grab your coupon code. Uh, it's going to pop up on this video or in the description box below if you want to get $10 off any of my 30-minute readings. And for now... Much love, much light. Namaste.